Number 1. The electrical current in the heart flows from cell to cell. The heart's electrical current originates in a group of cells in the right atrium, known as the sinoatrial node, SA. These cells are also known as pacemaker cells. The electrical current travels through the heart from the sinoatrial node through the atria downward to the atrioventricular node, AV. The electrical current then travels down the atrioventricular septum and, lastly, up the walls of the ventricles through the Purkinje fibers. This smooth flow of electrical current through the heart is possible due to membrane proteins known as gap junctions. Contractile cells of the heart, known as myocytes, are linked together by gap junctions that have an opening so the contents of the cytoplasm of one cell can travel to the neighboring cell. As a result, an action potential, or electrical current, is able to be spread from one cell to the neighboring cell through the gap junctions. When the sinoatrial node sends out an electrical stimulus causing an action potential in the cells surrounding the sinoatrial node, the action potential is then able to travel to the neighboring cells until the action potential has passed through all the contractile cells of the heart. This allows for a smooth flow of electrical current from the top down in the atria and from the bottom up in the ventricles. Additionally, since action potentials can spread through the contractile cells of the heart, there is no need for a neuron or any signaling from the nervous system to provide the electrical signaling to each individual myocyte to cause contraction. Number 2. Contraction in the heart follows the principle of excitation-contraction coupling. When a muscle cell is electrically excited by an action potential, contraction of the myocytes follows immediately. This relationship between electrical excitation and muscle contraction is known as excitation-contraction coupling. Therefore, when a contractile cell in the heart receives an action potential, it contracts. By knowing the direction electrical current flows through the heart, it is possible to know the direction of muscle contraction in the heart. Since electrical signaling begins in the right atrium and spreads from the top of the atria down, this means contraction of the heart begins in the atria, and that atrial contraction occurs from the top down, thus sending blood to the ventricles. The arrangement of electrical flow in the heart allows for electrical current in contractile cells of the ventricles to flow from the bottom of the ventricles to the top of the ventricles. This arrangement of electrical flow means contraction of the ventricles starts at the bottom of the ventricles and works up, sending blood flow out of the ventricles to either the pulmonary trunk or the aorta. The direction of electrical signaling and subsequent contraction allows for maximizing blood flow through the heart. Blood is pumped from the atria into ventricles, and blood in the ventricles is then pushed upon from the bottom up. If contraction had originated in the ventricles, the ventricles would contract before they had finished filling with blood. The right atrium receives blood from the veins in the body, the inferior and superior vena cava, and the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins. If the atria contracted from the bottom up, or if the ventricles were to contract from the top down, blood flow would be reversed and life would not be possible. The electrical flow of the heart allows enough time for blood flow to fill the ventricles before they contract, and that optimizes the volume of blood in each ventricle before each contraction. Thanks for watching our video on the heart, and remember to subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos on the science of human physiology.